Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Solis and today I'm going to be throwing some bases for chicken pots out of this new clay body. This clay body that I have today is Longhorn Red with Grog by Armadillo Clay. It is a clay from Texas and I'm in Texas so it's nice to use a local clay. I'm going to wedge this up because I like to get the clay particles moving before I throw. And I'm going to be using this clay to make another series of chicken planter pots. The last series of chicken planter pots I liked a lot, but there were some things that I thought that I can improve on, and this time I decided to use a low fire terracotta because I think that this clay is going to breathe a lot better as far as functionality for becoming a planter, and also after this clay is fired it's going to be red, which is a better base color, or at least I'm thinking it's going to be a better base color for the chickens in general. I'm still going to do some underglaze decorating on these after I sculpt them. I did get a clay with grog, so it is kind of gritty. It throws well. I enjoyed throwing it. It's a little, you know, rough on my hands, but it's not too bad. I would say that it was about the same as throwing with the Laguna Speckled Buff, and honestly it's not too bad. I will say that this clay obeys like it listens when I tell it to do things it it's not super I, it's easy to keep control of on the wheel so if you're a beginner throwing this might not be a bad idea but also this is a low fire clay so if you're not throwing at home and you're in a shared studio space you want to make sure that you put this on the correct shelf and that people know that this is a low fire clay because if you try to take this clay to cone six it's probably gonna melt so I enjoyed throwing with this clay body. I went ahead and just made some chicken pot sizes. I, they're not all gonna be the same, and one of them I kind of messed up a little bit. So I'm throwing these until I run out of bats. I think I have a total of four bats that I can fill up with these chicken pots before I have to take them off and start over. So after I throw each one I'm kind of setting it off to the side in the sunshine so that it can stiffen up a little bit so that it'll be easier for me to get it off the bat. I'm pretty excited to have this red clay body and to try a new clay body and also to make some more chicken pots. These are going to be quite large. I started with two and a half pounds of clay for each one. So they're going to be five to six inch pots as far as just like the pot size for the plant itself. But once I get the chickens sculpted onto them, they could probably be anywhere from eight to 12 inches, depending on if it becomes a hen or a rooster pot. I've had a really good time throwing today. I haven't messed up as much stuff as I usually do when I sit down to throw. And I think a lot of that has to do with this clay body being so easy to throw with. Like it's not exactly the easiest or smoothest on my hands, but it it listens and holds its shape very well. It has a lot of give to it and it's not super delicate. It's very firm and sturdy. It was easy to kind of open it up. I messed this one up, but I was able to save it because I'm going to warp the outsides anyway, so it's just pre-warped into the shape of the chicken, which is fine because I'm going to trim them pretty shortly after I throw them. When I'm trimming these, I've been trimming them while they're like pretty wet still because I need the clay to stay workable for sculpting purposes, but you know, I need it to I want to have the bottoms trimmed down a certain way for aesthetic purposes, so I've just been kind of experimenting with that. And recently what's been happening is I've just been getting good at trimming the bottoms while the clay is wet. I messed that one up, so can't win every time, especially not me. I mean, some people can probably win every time, but I still mess them up from time to time. And honestly, I was really happy with how this went today because I threw, I only messed up one. I'm not going to get through this entire clay set set of clay balls in this video because halfway through I am going to run out of bats and then I'm going to have to go over here and take them off the bats. Now I have been setting them over in the sun so that they can quickly dry up a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to get them off the bat once I'm ready to take them off the bats. And then after I get them off the bats I'm pretty much going to just set them aside. I'm going to wrap them up in a 
you know, well, I'm going to set them on these wear boards so that once they're off the bats, they can continue to dry up just a little bit more so that I can trim the bottoms of them really quick. I'm going ahead and pre-bend them. This is going to be the spots where the chicken heads and the chicken tails are going to connect once I'm doing the sculpting. So I just went ahead and make those indentions. It's kind of easier to make those indentions while it's super wet so that the clay doesn't, you know, have any memory and spring back and cause cracking later. So just make those indents for the head. And that's pretty much it for today. So I'm going to have four of these pots and that means I'm going to have at least four more chickens. So thank you for joining me today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of me throwing with this red clay. If you'd like to become a patron of my work you can find that at patreon.com slash bluenose trading and you can gain exclusive access to exclusive content as well as early access to all of my YouTube videos and if you'd like to see a weekly art video you can subscribe to this channel Blue Nose Trading and I will see you guys next week.